40 gallon breeders are one of my favorite aquariums in the aquarium hobby. Being 36 inches long by 18 inches wide and 16 inches tall, it really makes a great canvas for setting up any type of aquarium. What I really like about this tank is that it's not too big so you can move it around by yourself without requiring help, but it's not so small either so you can start looking at keeping some of the larger aquarium species as well. So let's dive into the fish barn and explore some of my favorite options for your 40 gallon breeder aquarium. I first want to walk you through one of the more obvious choices, and that's the community aquarium. Even though this is a 54 gallon bow front, the fish and plants in this tank would easily transfer to a 40 gallon breeder. You can find a wide variety of schooling fish in this tank with a large school of ember tetras, some costella tetras, as well as some melanotania bozmani rainbow fish that hail from Aves Creek. I'm also using some tricolor swordtails as the centerpiece fish in this tank, and to round out the fish, I have eight Corydoras Aeneas that inhabit the bottom of the aquarium. I really enjoy the movement of the schooling fish along with all their vibrant colors. I could really sit and watch this tank for hours. If you're looking for a fun interactive 40 gallon breeder, I would highly recommend looking into shell dwellers. I currently keep a large colony of Neolamprologus simulus and really feel a 40 gallon breeder is great for these fish. Shell dwellers are a lot of fun to keep since they're always rearranging their tank. They change their tank daily by moving their shells around as well as moving the sand in their tanks. Week to week, your tank will never be the same. If you're getting into shell dwellers for the first time, I'd highly recommend the Neolamprologus simulus or Neolamprologus multifasciatus. Provided these fish have harder water, these fish are extremely hardy and easy to breed, which makes some great choices to start out with. There are some species that are a little bit more challenging, especially when it comes to breeding, since they're more likely to predate on their young. If you've never kept shell dwellers before, I would highly encourage you to do so. These fish are just a lot of fun to watch as they interact with their environment. If you're looking for a fun tank with a little splash of color, I'll consider setting up a tank with some Cyprochromus. While these fish are African cichlids, hailing from Lake Tanganyika, they behave more like schooling fish where they travel around the lake in large schools. There are many different varieties and locations of Cyprochromus, and they're all beautiful. When looking at Cyprochromus, there are a couple things you'll need to keep in mind. If you can, you should consider trying to find them locally because Cyprochromus are notoriously poor shippers. If you do find them online, I would highly recommend you choose a vendor that's experienced in shipping these fish. These fish are also pretty expensive, commanding a price point of $25 per fish or more, depending on the strain. So be prepared to spend quite a bit of money to get your colony set up. But when you do get these fish settled in, they are hardy and pretty easy to take care of. Though like the shell dwellers we spoke of earlier, they do like harder water. So if you're looking for a unique 40 breeder setup with a fun and beautiful species, I'd highly recommend looking into Cyprochromus. One of my favorite uses for 40 gallon breeders is to house and breed some of my larger live bears. A couple of my favorites are swordtails as well as some of the larger Gudead species like the Iliadon Firstidens that you see in the video clip right now. I just feel this tank size gives a lot of swimming room and places for fry to hide. Even though I've not done it a lot, you could also put mollies in a 40 breeder as well and I think it would work quite nicely. I'll go ahead here and show you a couple of examples of both swordtails and gudeads that I've kept in 40 gallon breeders. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I really enjoy the footprint of the 40 gallon breeder aquarium. It just gives you a lot of different options and gives you a great canvas to work with. Whether you're looking to breed fish or just want a fun interactive tank, I hope this video gave you some ideas to consider. So with that being said, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll catch you on the next video.